Candace, and you might know me as So Bake Me on <laughs> Instagram. And this is my first ever YouTube video. I've been putting this off for way too long and blaming pretty much everything for not starting. I wanted to get a better camera set up, sewing room fully set up first. Um, this guy never sleeps, but I figured I, if I wanna ever start my channel, I had to just jump right in and do it. So we're doing it. Just barely got a shower this morning, thanks to this guy's 20 minute nap. We don't sleep around here. We don't sleep very much. Um, so today I thought I would do a really fun tutorial on embroidering sweaters and it's a really cute and easy personalized Christmas gift. So let's get started. So here are the supplies you'll need. You'll need a water soluble fabric marker. These are my favorite. They're by Adger. I get them on Amazon. You'll need a darning needle. This is a needle for weaving in ends and stuff on knit projects, but it's got a big eye and a blunt point. And then you'll need the yarn of your choice. I have this, I think it's super bulky yarn. I'm hoping I have enough. There's not really that much there, but we're gonna try to make it work. Okay, now that we have our letters mapped out, I'm going to thread my needle. And start working on the first letter. So I actually find it easiest to have the stitches facing away from me. So I'm gonna work upside down to start because it's going in this direction, like down. So you'll pull your yarn. Leave a few inches inside to weave in the ends. So I'm just got a little bit there. And then you will enter in just slightly beside where you came out of, and then you'll come out of where you want the stitch to end. Wrap your working yarn around the needle from the left side, and then pull the yarn through. make your stitch. So that's the very first stitch. So for the next stitch you'll go in through where you came out of. So put your needle in and then come out where you want the stitch to the length of the stitch, like where it's going to end. Wrap the yarn around and pull it all the way through again. your second stitch and then you'll just go all the way around doing the same thing And here are the finished sweaters. They turned out so cute and I really love how the stitches look. It looks like super, super cute. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe because I'll have lots more DIY and sewing content to come.